Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, my name is Paweł Janowski. I'm a, a Aria Sales Manager uh, in Optomer, and today I have a pleasure to present you uh, our uh, uh, aerial solution, Optomer uh, Sky System uh, Plus. Uh, so uh, uh, another another person. Uh, is coming. So maybe uh, let's uh, let's start and make this afternoon uh, productive. Yes, uh, I will present first uh, our company and Optomer tell you a little bit more uh, about us. I promise to be not too boring and be very, very quick. So Optomer is a family company with almost 30 years in the telecommunication business with own production facility, warehouse and offices located in central Poland. We have own R&D department, design office and training uh, center. Uh, my plan is to not tell you all information uh, during this webinar. Uh, you probably get more information on my slides, but we are limited by time. So we have to spend in here one hour. Of course, with pleasure, I could stay with you uh, more. Uh, but probably first and last time uh, if somebody is married uh, should should understand me uh, why we have to finish on time. OK, so our offer that standard product portfolio, full solutions, custom made products, single components, training courses and complete support. I would like to tell you a little bit more about complete support, but uh, later. Yes, so you will receive uh, more information about about uh, our uh, our support and how we can support uh, you to use our solution what is very important in uh, optomer sky system plus uh, our factory is split on two division first division is telecommunication equipment production line uh, we make their cabinets boxes and 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 other products they can be customized uh, based on the customer requirements and and we can we can try uh, we like challenges so we can try uh, to meet all your needs and the second division is fiber optic cable connectorization so we uh, we work like OEM so we can we can make products for you dedicated products ba based on your own components or you can use uh, components of our business partners. 17% of production line is uh, designed and made by ourselves. We know our needs and and uh, we know our, our needs and uh, we have enough knowledge and experience to design and uh, and make the production lines uh, for ourselves. So uh, why Optomer? Optomer in numbers. So we are 29 years on the market, almost 6,500 meters square manufacturing warehouse, sink and office space, more than 170 employees. I would like to tell you also that almost 10 percent of employees, that's our R&D bank. Uh, department. So that's huge technological background from our side can be provided to your company as well. Circa 10 million euro, that's annual turnover. Capacity up to 40,000 fiber optic connectors per week, but we plan to increase this capacity in the next year by another 50%. Over 100 designed prototyping per year is also quite important information for you that we try to and we support our partners to provide new products, new solutions to the market. So Optomer's way to make a difference, that's listening to develop our understanding of business partners needs, understanding to use our knowledge and experience, creativity and flexibility to deliver innovative and practical solutions. So that's about Optomer. Now we can smoothly jump to Optomer Sky System uh, Plus. Uh, when the traditional solutions aren't good enough. In the beginning, I would like to tell you that that's not remedy for all issues and you can't replace uh, by Optomer uh, this traditional uh, networks. Sometimes it won't be enough effective, but we can advise you when you can use this solution and get huge 
a huge benefit from uh, from optomer sky system plus so that's our rule in here so oss plus overview yes so uh, in the first what i would like to tell you i would, would like to introduce you the standard IR solutions and after that I will tell you what is the difference and why you can consider to use OSS plus. Uh, I will show you the network architecture. Uh, later we will uh, I will explain you the network elements and I will tell you a little bit more about them. Uh, after that you get also uh, design and installation uh, tips uh, what we discover during the installation and uh, we will jump to the main and key program point case studies yes after after uh, case studies uh, uh, I will tell you a little bit about network breakdowns and how to how to get back the functionality and and flexibility of this of this network OSS plus network and uh, and uh, we will uh, go through the end so to summary so let's start from uh, from the traditional uh, aerial network solutions so what is the difference as you can see on the view that between pools you have to use a little bit more cable than one cable so you get the high investment and installation cost to the large quantity of materials used yes small distance between closures so that's give you more distribution boxes uh, is requires spare uh, cable and probably the main it's low network aesthetic and additional load to the pools uh, if you see the condition of the very old pools you can understand that that another an element of the network can be uh, can be can be can be really dramatic for 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 the successful of the whole network so that's that traditional aerial network uh, just general general information you can also consider to make a budget option to use a little bit more less elements yes less distribution box but automatically you have to uh, you have to uh, use uh, uh, more cable uh, uh, so uh, uh, and the aesthetic uh, of the network it's even lower it's uh, uh, it's higher load to the poles yes uh, also the installation cost is higher because uh, you have to uh, you have to go with the cable through the any single pool just to connect uh, connect the, the customer so uh, the beginning savings uh, and the cost and cost of other elements can exceed the initial savings what is what is what is really uh, really probably unexpected by any investor but very possible uh, and it may happen so what is an alternative so I believe that alternative uh, for for such a issues can be our optomer system uh, optomer sky system uh, plus uh, the the main customer is always connected from the nearest pool it's greater network aesthetics and lower strains to the pools as you can see on this picture you've got only one cable uh, between pools on the whole distance of network yes so that's 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 the huge difference uh, oss plus also allow you allows to use one fiber model for two subscribers uh, how does it work you can support the cable i will show you this uh, wait a second uh, you can support this cable from both ends you can fit from both ends yes from this end and from the other end, yes you can you can see and automatically if you will connect the first subscriber you you cut the window in the cable and provide to the drop tube so from this side and for example 30 minutes later you can do the same with the other end of the fiber model and connect another uh, another uh, another uh, customer so it's like uh, uh, it's like uh, 
uh, no waste policy. All fibers can be fully used and provide to the customer on one from one and other other end. Uh, and also it's lower installation cost. As you can see on the pictures, you've got only two cabinets on one and on both ends of the network. Uh, all right, so let's continue. If you have any questions, I've forgotten to offer you that because my uh, my microphone uh, uh, didn't work in the beginning of this presentation. So if you have any question, just uh, try let me know. I believe that I have chance to get a support from one of my colleagues if I would overlook uh, uh, something. Uh, so just just remember about that, that any questions uh, are always very welcome. Uh, uh, network architecture, yes, so that's a general overview of the architecture you've got in here, the uh, the cabinet, aerial cabinet, and from the cabinet it's ca cable provide to the distribution boxes, and from any each distribution boxes you can connect up to four houses. Yes. And on the uh, uh, householder side, it's installed our wall mounted. It can be installed our wall mounted NGO 12 uh, uh, distribution box. Uh, so uh, OSS plus key networks elements. So now it's time to tell you a little bit more about the products which are used in this system. So probably the main is the cable. No, 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 probably definitely. The main is the cable, easy access cable. Uh, you can get uh, this cable in uh, in a couple in a couple versions. Uh, uh, it's 12, 24, 36, or even 48 fiber models. That's the construction of the cable, and any each model can contain two or four fiber elements. So you can provide to ha one house two fiber or four fiber, uh, and you can use this per fiber uh, for, uh, uh, you can use this for for, uh, for any breakdowns or just just uh, on any unexpected situation. But I will tell you a little bit later what, what happened with, 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 with our networks when we make a planning of the network and when we finally just start the installation of the network. That's two different words, absolutely. So uh, as I said before, that's double functionality, zero waste policy, one model to subscribers. If you fit the cable from the both, sides yes it's the same outside diameter of this cable that's the big diff that's also very handy because you can use uh, the same size of anchoring clamps so just simple uh, bill of uh, material yes so uh, that's that's also the difference and cable can be used o uh, overhead or directly buried uh, I didn't tell you before that also it's such an option. So this is great solution for hybrid networks. If you would like to direct bury this cable and after that it's re it's it's required uh, to to make an installation overhead. Yes, because uh, uh, it's uh, no micro canalization, uh, no existing infrastructure in some part of road and not possible to make any civil engineering. Yes, we can we can help you. Uh, with this uh, this solutions to 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 uh, to build and offer offer fiber connections to uh, to the customers in such areas. Uh, another product that's universal drop tube. Uh, uh, this product is available in three sizes, and also uh, the flexibility and functionality of this product. It's 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 really important that it can be overhead, in duct along walls, or directly buried. That's the big difference, and 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 therefore we really like such a products because you can use in different ways uh, uh, one product. Uh, another product is hermetic pool distribution box. We've got this product in three different sizes and six capacities. Capacities is from 12 to 144 subscribers. We can, of course, this product customized. Uh, we can uh, this product customize and 
Okay, another. Uh, people are coming uh, and uh, environmental protection is IP65. It's corrosion resistant and mechanical durable. It's free areas inside the box. It's subscribers area, splicing area and splitters area. But uh, as I said, we can customize this product and this product can be uh, fully or partly equipped, included uh, adapters, included uh, uh, included uh, uh, splitters or uh, uh, it can be it can be delivered based on the uh, customer requirements. Another element of the network is a distribution box for uh, easy access cable. Uh, this uh, this product uh, environmental protection is uh, up to IP68, but the standard is IP65, and IP65 for aerial solution is absolutely enough. But if you would like to use this product uh, for uh, for barium solutions to install this in access chambers, yes, we can provide such an option and will meet IP68. Uh, uh, 68. It's compact, lightweight, uh, quick and easy connection of subscribers. No need to use special tools, capacity for, 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 uh, for subscribers. I will show you a little bit more about this product. You've got rubber seals like that. I believe that you can see very well. So uh, two on this side, two on other side. So for subscribers, it's uh, really easy to connect. And from the window cut, you provide and push pull the fiber into drop tube straight to the customer. Yes, so it's it's really easy. It's much easier to install to first, but it's it's quite important. And I will tell you a little bit more uh, during the installation tips uh, uh, point uh, how to make a uh, how to cut the window and when you should make a decision to install the cable uh, inside inside the box. But that's general overview how it looks. Uh, this product and by the screwdriver you you uh, you close uh, and protect uh, protect this uh, product uh, even uh, uh, protect this product to 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 not uh, let uh, any access of water inside yes all right, so let's continue with our presentation. Uh, drop tube facade LED point in point. That's optional product. Uh, this is very important product if you can't uh, uh, can't receive right angle uh, when you provide a drop tube into the customer house. Yes. So uh, if you can't if you can't uh, can't receive this this uh, this right angle, we recommend to use drop to facade light, light point because it's protect your customer by uh, by water a, a water inside the building. Yes. So also you don't need to use uh, special tools. Of course, your customers may may ask you to to use anyway this this product because it's really aesthetic appearance as well uh, and uh, uh, the, another product it's on customer side the, the 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 key product it's it's well mounted fiber optic outlet a network termination in customer's apartment uh, it can be installed directly on the wall, yes, so it's a very quick and easy installation as well. Uh, capacity is up to four connectors and two splices, but if you would like to use, for example, uh, uh, our cable with uh, four fibers per uh, per model, we can also offer you the option with NGO 24, what give you the opportunity, uh, what increase the capacity of splices from two up to four splices per uh, per distribution uh, termination uh, termination box. So, uh, and also it's the option that this product can be delivered with pre-installed adapters and big days. So. Uh, so also can be delivered uh, by us.
uh, other uh, network elements that anchoring clamps and mounting plates, tail strap. I don't want to explain you many any single uh, element, any single element because we are very limited by time. And I believe that uh, if you are quite familiar with uh, with uh, aerial solutions, you know this product as well. Uh, this presentation will be shared with you so you can back to them and and just read and check the details of other network elements. But today, today maybe I would like to focus on uh, on very characteristic products uh, and elements of of our network. So just answering comes mounting plate. Yes, this is the plate to install uh, on the poles our uh, our uh, distribution boxes. Uh, it's from stainless steel. Also, it's quick and easy installation with stainless steel strap on the any each pole. Uh, pole universal bracket and special knife uh, enables presses window cutting in an easy access cable. Uh, so you can do this by the knife, but uh, but we know a lot of installers in Poland. I believe that you know uh, such installers on your side as well that they can uh, cut the window in the cable by any tool, even uh, even tool dedicated to skin of potatoes. Uh, such installers with huge experience, uh, which. Uh, just say only keep my beer and show me this cable. Yes, of course it's possible to use different tools, but this dedicated tool uh, guarantee the, the 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 fiber protection and and precise window cut. So uh, we offer such a tool uh, as well. And uh, another product, I believe that you would like to not to hear about this product uh, because this product is an option for network breakdowns. If the network breakdowns would be on the drop uh, drop tube side, so that's push pull FTTH drop uh, uh, patch cord with divisible connector. Uh, this product is fully optional, as I said, if it would be any network breakdowns on uh, on a drop tube side, you can easy, uh, easy connect uh, this cable in the cabinet and provide directly uh, to the uh, to the subscriber from the aerial cabinet. I will I will show you a little bit later how it may work. Uh, and uh, therefore that this product is uh, with divisible connector you can uh, you can uh, resign from any splicing uh, you don't need uh, any special machines uh, for splicing just pulling pushing through a hole with a diameter uh, of uh, 4.5 mil or uh, or bigger uh, okay so that's all if we speak about the 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 the, the, the products and and just key network elements, uh, now I would like to tell a little bit more about uh, about design and installation. And I've selected for you a couple a couple tips which can be very helpful if you make a decision to use uh, our solution. So. Uh, so during the design, it's very important uh, to make uh, the initial inspection to verify the pulse condition and capacity. That's uh, that's really important, and we a couple times discovered that the proper inspection uh, uh, created the problems uh, for us on site. Uh, also, it's quite important the physical location of the poles and the distance from that uh, from them to subscribers and cable path because sometimes it it may happen that uh, your network would require additional permissions because the cable f path uh, to subscriber is through the neighbor property and and such a permission would be would be required. Yes. Uh, proper assignment of fibers to addresses. So this is quite important if you plan to use one model to connect two 
houses, yes. So it's better to plan in advance which fiber model uh, uh, will be provided to 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 specify to specify address, yes. And uh, very important is also reserve the capacity uh, to cover unexpected needs. What happened? Uh, and I will tell you also a little bit more about that during the uh, case studies. And all the above minimize the issues on the installation site. So uh, examples of, of such a uh, such a verification, uh, what may happen. So as you can see on uh, on the right picture, uh, the pole was made from flexible material and uh, at the beginning of the line we had uh, to use extraction elements just to keep the pole in vertical position uh, from both sides uh, had to because because this this pole had to be uh, had to be balanced and we didn't expect that yes we we've seen and discovered this uh, just on site that it's such an issue uh, another 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 picture this on the left side uh, shows you that uh, that was the uh, uh, the nearest pole to the access chamber. You can see this, uh, the nearest pole to the access chambers, and we've selected this pole uh, to, to start our network, but unfortunately, this pole is totally overloaded. So we couldn't use this pole uh, as a beginning of our network, and you can see the, the cable here just to start uh, our network from the next uh, nearest pool and make splicing a little bit uh, 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 in um, a little bit, uh, you know, in in, in in uh behind 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 this 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 pool. So uh, because also it wasn't it wasn't possible to use a lower part of this pool because it was communication road and uh, this uh, opportunity was successfully eliminated as well for lower level installation. Yes. Uh, uh, this picture shows you that uh, it's quite important that uh, this product should be ready for uh, connection in the future. And we highly recommend to use all elements networks in the beginning of stage, especially if it's potential to develop uh, the network area, yes. So just just to make an installation, because after that you not, you don't need any any elements. Uh, you can uh, oh, oh, only what what you need. You you need the the splicing machine on the subscriber side and some drop tube with you, and you can you can make e the installation easy. Uh, and also it's quite important to remember about the spare cable to cover comfortable splicing from the ground level. Installation selective tips. So the, the main is motto for all our aerial products, pro projects that all works on heights should be done from the ground level if possible. So remember about that. So uh, connection, splicing, network elements, assembly, try to make from the ground level, not uh, not uh, not in other way, of course, if it's possible. Uh, window cut in the cable should be done by dedicated tool, but I told you that I know the installers which don't use such a tools <laughs> before installation inside inside the box that's that's what we recommend and drop fiber entry through the facade wall to the subscri subscriber and an angle or additional protection uh, also i i uh, i advise you that uh, before when we uh, introduce the network when i uh, introduce you, you the network uh, elements yes uh, installation tips, examples, yes. So you can see on these two pictures from the left side that splicing was from the ground level and sets of box and mounting plate were assembled on ground level as well. So everything was uh, prepared and after that we make an installation on the poles. Uh, Black marks because we recommend to cut window uh, uh, outside of this box. It should be done between the white stripes 
uh, on the uh, bottom side of the cable. So uh, these black marks uh, help to identify uh, uh, place where this uh, this window should be should be car uh, should be cut yes so pushing the fiber model into the drop tube rigid models in a slippery coating uh, guarantee absolutely great results and and you can be really satisfied uh, by by the distance uh, I believe that it's uh, we, our experience tell us that uh, uh, 40, 50 meters uh, in in general conditions, it's not not a problem uh, to make a, a right installation. Uh, so easy access cable installation inside the distribution box after making a window cut. You can see on the uh, second pictures uh, of this slide. Facade protection, yes, against water. So that's the proper angle to get access uh, to the building. If it's not possible, you can see on the right that it's used uh, this recommended uh, product uh, by us uh, to get to get uh, just right protection. And now Time for case study. Uh, the installation date was December uh, 2017. So as you can see, uh, almost four years, uh, this network is working well and uh, it's, it's, it's fully installed uh, in Vilanov district, that's Warsaw, Poland. We use a cable with 24 models, two fiber units each model. Uh, we connect 59 subscribers. How did we do that? You would like to probably ask. I will explain you because that's absolutely unbelievable that 2024 uh, and uh, just just such a cable and uh, we made uh, 59 connections. But this is really, uh, really important that this product and this solution is very flexible and really functional. OK, so uh, I will show you the PDF now. We had the conception, yes. Uh, we had a conception and uh, you can see uh, uh, the area, the uh, feeder cable was on the street going on the right side. And what we've done first, we, uh, we just highlight uh the points where can be some issues yes where can be some issues caused by the distance from the pool to uh, to the building or if the distance of if the the the, the cable path uh was through the uh the neighborhood area or something like that what could require another permission luckily we didn't have any issue uh, everybody uh, everybody welcome us and our installation uh, on the site but that was right that we've double checked that in advance to avoid any unpleasant situation uh, on site as you as you can see we've got We've got more these subscribers, but how did it happen? Uh, first, that that should be a pilot, and the investor wanted to see how uh, how our solutions would work, and ask us to make uh, five, six, or seven connections. Yes, so we just uh, just use this uh, this cable. We make a decision that this cable will be far enough to make uh, so many connections, but we, when we've been on site, uh, they ask us if it would be possible to make more connections. So we, we just ask them, so how many connections would you like to make? And we've heard that if it would be possible, we would like to call uh, we would like to connect all of them. Yes, what was, what was big surprise for us that they would like to connect all of them. And finally, it was required to connect 59 uh, uh, subscribers. Yes. Uh, so after after this, 
uh, we may uh, we uh, we just uh, uh, we just uh, plan how many subscribers from each pool pool will be connected. As you can see, four, four, eight, etc. Yes, and we had to split this area uh, to uh, to install our uh, cabinets. So uh, we decided to split in the middle and we get, as you can see, you can see we get 27 householders on the right side and 30 householders on the left side. And after that, uh, we just highlight four areas, yellow area, green area, blue area and purple area. Uh, green area and blue area was connected by one length of cable between the cabinets and purple and yellow area have been connected by blind tails of cables. So we just uh, we just start the cable from this from the aerial cabinet uh, and this cable has been finished in uh, has been finished in uh, uh, spare cable frames. So so generally generally that's that's uh, that's the main facts that uh, uh, OSS plus but I forgotten to tell you about that that OSS plus uh, for this pilot was chosen uh, uh, for functionality and flexibility to replace the existing old copper network yes and uh, and uh, feeder cable was from one side of the street and the investor as I said has increased the number of subscribers after purchasing material yes so we had to make just uh, more connection that it was planned uh, and therefore as you can see we make a four section i call them a b c d on the uh, on the uh, on this pdf file you can see the colors yes so just purple blue green and and yellow and uh, and after, oh, sorry for that. And use uh, two pool cabinets. Uh, both uh, cabinets have been uh, equipped by splitters, one uh, by 32, and it was three lengths of cables. That's uh, that's what I said. That one blind and 132 meters, another blind and 134 meters, and 245 meters. That was the cable between this cabinets so as you can see that one uh, fiber uh, 24 models uh, make a 34 connection because one model uh, connect at least two houses uh, i have another another pdf file i believe that uh, it will ex uh, uh, give you a little bit better view. So from this side is coming feeder cable. Yes, two fibers, two fibers uh, in uh, our easy access cable is used to fit splitter in the second cabinet. Yes, you've got the second cabinet. And on this side you have this blind ends and the connection. So uh, we can say that this is purple area and yellow it's uh, connect by this cable, yes? And purple and green is connected by one cable because one fiber model it's provided to two addresses, as you can see. I believe that that's clear enough. Uh, uh, and I explained this in uh, in 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 right way. If if it's something not clear enough, please just let me know, and I will try to explain this uh, as much as possible. Uh, okay, so that's that's the first case study, and I will show you also a couple of pictures uh, from the installation site. Uh, just visible benefits you can see 
uh, that uh, installation is uh, uh, completed and finished on the customer side, just straight to the goal, drop tube uh, into the termination box. You can see also on the middle picture that uh, all these cables have been replaced by one uh, easy access cable. And uh, on the third pictures, you can see the direct connection from the nearest pole. You can see that it's three and two drop tubes from each uh, distribution box, just straight to the customer. The second case study was a little bit uh, is a little bit different. That was also in Warsaw. We use the same cable. Uh, we connect only 29, uh, 29 uh, uh, subscribers. But generally, uh, this area it's uh, has got huge potential uh, to 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 be developed in uh, shortest uh, future. So. Uh, we used only one cabinet on the uh, other end was uh, also the cabinet but uh, totally unequipped so just for scale only but this cabinet on other end can be uh, can be equipped anytime uh, to um, uh, connect uh, other uh, other houses so the reason to use our solutions was the same just to replace old-fashioned and anesthetic uh, copper network and uh, and it was enough uh, fiber to feed cable from one side only but it was also uh, during the uh, during the planning process during the installation as you can see we finally connect 29 subscribers so that's far more than enough what happened on site uh, generally the situation, uh, the situation was uh, was unexpected by us because uh, a couple a couple houses were split for smaller flats and nobody know about that. That uh, and in this one house, uh, the owner house owner would like to make uh, would like to. Uh, Pro provide to to this uh, selected flats just uh, independent uh, independent fibers. So uh, the investor made a strategic decision. Uh, in a couple cases, use one fiber, one uh, one uh, one cable model. Uh, and two fiber in this cable model just to fit and just to provide signal to two flats in the same building. Therefore, you can see more subscribers than, uh, than we have uh, fiber models in this, uh, in this network, yes? And uh, visible benefits, you can see that on the first picture, one smart and aesthetic box has replaced uh, three boxes. You can see our our box and these three boxes can be unused now because they've been replaced and also fiber and cable organizations placing connections made from ground level. Yeah, that's possible. Weather was fine, so, so installers enjoy enjoy the sun uh, the other uh, the other case study the third one is from no november 2019 that's from lubartov it's uh, we are now in uh, eastern poland and we use the same cables and we connect uh, for 18 subscribers so uh, the reason to um, to use uh, oss plus was a little bit uh, different uh, uh, the investor make a decision uh, to use uh, to 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 um, to use OSS Plus as the most aesthetic uh, aerial network. Uh, they wanted to prove to prove to the city authorities that the new aerial networks can be smart and 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 good looking. Yes, so so that's uh, that was that was the main because uh, just city authorities said that now only burial it's possible, but uh, 
uh, the investor wanted to 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 show that uh, it can be it can be smart and aesthetic. Uh, also, uh, the investor made a decision to use their own outdoor pillars, and uh, therefore we had the opportunity to use. Uh, to use uh, uh, flexibility of 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 our cable, yes, because we can we can show you now that this uh, product can be direct buried as well. So uh, up to four subscribers from one pool, and uh, and uh, also it was it was the plus uh, to use uh, the same. And uh, to use uh, the uh, own outdoor pillars uh, that the cable can be uh, directly buried uh, would make a connection easier. No additional cable protection uh, was required. Uh, also only uh, from one side uh, the signal was provided to the cable. So uh, a full functionality of this cable wasn't used. And and 18 subscribers have been uh, connected. Yes. So you can see on the uh, left uh, picture the direct buried uh, cable to 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 use existing infrastructure. This pillar and only one cable between poles on the whole distance of the networks. Uh, probably you agree with me that it looks much more better than old-fashioned uh, copper networks with plenty cables uh, between poles yes so that's that's the difference okay so now we can uh, we can jump to a little bit uh, unpleasant part of our webinar uh, and i will tell you a little bit more about break breakdowns because it may it may happen uh, the advantage of our network technology can be that all subscribers fed from the cabinet on one side to the filer point won't lose the signal. What is quite important, I will show you. Uh, I will show you here because uh, if the signal is from this side, from uh, for example, from uh, all right, yeah, second, okay. Yeah, if the signal is from one side, yes, and if from this side uh, make a connection to the customers and uh, the, net the network will be breakdown on this side, automatically the signal won't be loose to other uh, householder because this cable can be fed from both sides. So one only householder will lose the signal, but other householder will be fully protected so that's really beneficial if you compare the traditional networks and our networks that if if it will be any network breakdowns uh, you save the signal on even in up to 50 percent uh, householders so and by analogy all subscribers from the failure point to the other cabinet fed from this cabinet won't lose the signal either yes what is what is probably clear i hope so and uh, but what with the breakdowns and and how to how to how to repair that uh, so uh, all additional uh, all additional ways to for removal of the network failures are possible however they don't guarantee the network functionality uh, reconstruction and during this uh, webinar i would like to show you that you can fully uh, reconstruct this this network and get this functionality and flexibility uh, how it was before so it's the following uh, dedicated solutions and i will explain you them by one by one uh, okay so lost signal in the middle of network so both free ends should be finished on the nearest poles inside hermetic distribution box. So that's what you have to provide. Uh, uh, connections and provide the signals from one and other points. Uh, the same situation if the damage to the pole in the middle section. Yes, so be finished also on the nearest poles inside hermetic distribution boxes. So just you. Uh, start your network or end your network in the other points and damage to the extreme pole. 
Yeah, it's quite similar. The cable should be finished on the nearest pole inside hermetic distribution box. So just you can take from this side and just uh, reinstall on the nearest pole to uh, to change the position of uh, starting or finishing your network. Damage of the large part of network. The reconstruction of network is required, but only for this part, which is necessary as well. Yes, so you need to replace the pools, just hermetic distribution boxes, and the network is fine again. Lost signal in the drop tube. Yes, so that's what I told you a little bit uh, in the beginning of our webinar. If it's not possible to use spare fiber, because sometimes you can use spare fi fiber in the models, we can reconnect subscriber by patch cords with divisible SC connector directly from the nearest hermetic distribution box. So, so you this is it looks a little bit like old fashioned aerial <laughs> networks, but it's also working and you can get uh, you can you can uh, you can guarantee the signal back to your customers in very uh, smart and quick way. What is really important today? OK, so now summary, we, we are very, very close to 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 finish our webinar. We are we are on time, so that's uh, and that's that's really good and I'm quite happy uh, with that. Summary and benefits. So uh, as you could see, the functionality and flexibility of this solution, it's it's almost unlimited. Yes, uh, if we speak, of course, about the cables, it's less elements, less cable, less pole strength required as well, and greater aesthetics, time and cost efficiency because the biggest benefits. And I would like to tell you uh, that that's not remedy and that's not replacement one to one for all uh, for a traditional uh, area networks. Uh, but the biggest benefits are for areas with medium or high density of houses. Yes. And easy and smart network development. Uh, OK, and Optomers extra mile uh, how we can support optomer so we back to the beginning of our presentation when i promised you that optomer guarantee support before during and after yes so uh, of course before the design yes you can you can get from us available assessments of the solutions potential for selected area we advise you that it will work for this area you get the benefits you uh, you Mm, you create the savings or not. If you ask us, you show the area, we will let you know if it's worth to start to do that or not. During the design, uh, we can we can give you uh, valuable tips based on our knowledge and experience, uh, plus full support. Uh, for designers and investors a little bit more tips you know i showed you only selected tips i believe that we can we can tell you about this solution much more and we can involve our our engineers and installers uh, to this project as well before the installation valuable tips based on our knowledge just the same and experience uh, highlights of common errors and also we can provide installer trainings on our site we can do this if anybody would like to visit us we can also should uh, we can also show you these areas where uh, optimer sky systems plus was installed and still working well uh, during the installation uh, that's uh, another another element of our complete support uh, so our engineers are ready to support your investment or construction site as well and after advices for network servicing development active support included if it would be required so that's also uh, that's also uh, what we offer to our business partners and customers. And in our meaning, that's exactly complete support from Optomer. Now the rewards and time 
four questions. I hope that uh, you are not disappointed and you spend this afternoon uh, in a relatively uh, productive way. Uh, this uh, uh, this uh, webinar will be shared for you. So uh, so if somebody was late and uh, visited us mm, uh, and missed the beginning of 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 our be uh, beginner, uh, I can I can calm down everybody that that uh, that we will share this webinar and uh, you can once again uh, see uh, how. Uh, Optomer Sky System Plus is working. And also this uh, presentation uh, uh, we will share for, for your usage. And, and if you have any questions later, all these questions are very welcome. You can contact with our managers. You can you can use our uh, general mailbox for sales at optomer.pl and just just uh, stay in touch with us and that will be big honor for us to provide you Optomers service. So I would like to thank you everybody. Any questions? Because I don't see anything. Any words? Good, bad words? Feedback? What can be done better? What? Or that's, or everybody took an app. Okay, very nice words. It is also usable on Facet, but what do you mean, uh, Jens? Yes, I'm going to share presentation. You will, you will, uh, you will receive this uh, uh, this presentation after we will we will uh, to uh, to all email addresses we we'll, we uh, which join to us uh, this presentation. This presentation will be of course sent. I I can see that Remus would like to say something. Wait a second, sorry for that. Okay, Remus, you can. No, no, this cable is not pre-installed in the in the aerial tube. This cable uh, I will show you now. Uh, OK, this cable that's that's fiber in the duct. Yes, so you can you can see the construction of the cable. So no, that's not a cable pre-installed in aerial tube. That's easy access cable to cut the window and make a uh, and make a connection. Okay. Uh, Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay, so. Joel, I'm not sure that I understood you, but generally we back to this question as well and 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 uh, we will provide you the answers uh, and also what i would like to what i would like to tell you that uh, uh, you can any any time you can send email with uh, additional inquiries and somebody from our side will contact you so uh, we don't want to leave you with any doubts yes so so just just please feel free to send us emails as well because I'm not sure that I understood uh, uh, the question. No, no, that Optomer Optomer uh, doesn't produce the the ducts. So uh, I believe that uh, about the components, about any network elements, uh, uh, I will I will invite you to direct contact. You can contact us. 
that's full solution, so we can't provide all these products. Yes, yeah? so that's not not possible to 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 uh, to provide any single products uh, uh, any single products to the market. So uh, uh, this solution it's 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 provided together with our uh, with our business partners. So I hope that you can understand that. OK. So. OK, so thank you very much, uh, everybody. Uh, and, and see you next time. Uh, I believe that that uh, that you join to our next webinar. Uh, I have planned to 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 show you a little bit more solutions uh, from from our portfolio. So stay in touch, stay safe, and uh, and all the best. I would like to wish you. Bye now.